Today, I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart specifically for the Examining Religion Charts page in the Asia Activity Packet. First thing you're going to want to do is zoom in so you can see the task at hand a little bit better. So instructions, create a pie chart that shows the distribution of religion in Asia. And I see that I have four boxes here, insert chart for Asia, South Asia, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. And here is my data that I have to work with. So first thing you're going to want to do in order to create a chart is click insert chart and the instructions specifically say a pie chart. So open up a pie chart. When you get there, click that arrow down and click open source. This is going to take you to a generic Google Sheets with a pie chart. And what you're going to want to do is delete all of this generic data. I like to move my chart to the side. And then you're going to want to place your data specifically in this chart. You're going to want to put the religions listed in column A. There you go. I have the religions listed in column A. I've skipped line one because that's where the titles would go. And then you're going to match it up with its corresponding data from the activity packet. Perfect. So once you have that, you have your pie chart made. So now you can edit it. First thing that you're going to want to do in your chart is double click on that title and have an appropriate title. I want to make clear that this is the chart specifically for all of Asia. And then from there, you can change the text color, you can change uh, the size of the text, anything you want. Also, the default for this is all of these different shades of blue. So if you want, you can change the shades so that they pop a little bit more by clicking on that specific slice of pie and then changing the color. Perfect. This way, everything kind of stands out a little bit better. From here, you can always change uh, where the data is. You can change it to be auto labeled. You can have it on the right side. You can have it on the left side, at the top, etc. I like it auto because then you can clearly see the data. But let's change this to be black. And let's make this maybe a little bit bigger. But keep in mind when you make things bigger, um, you might not be able to see some key data. If you want to change the color of the lines in between the pie chart, you can click edit, edit chart, customize, pie chart, border color, and you can have it be black. You can also have a donut hole in the middle if that's what you want. Go back into your pie chart, click update, and then remember you're going to want to move this to where it belongs. And resize it right there. So you're going to want to do the same thing for South Asia, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. And I'm going to show you how to do that really easily right here. We are going to file, make a copy of this chart, and we will call it Asia Packet South Asia Religion. And then from there, all we have to do is change the data here. Perfect. So here I have my new chart. I've kept everything the same, except I've changed the data in column B. Remember, when it comes to NA, I just leave that blank. That means that no data was given or it wasn't a, a significant enough number. This way, all of my coloring stays the same. Then I'm going to want to hit insert, chart. Now I'm going to hit from sheets. Click on the chart you just made, Asia Packet, South Asia. Insert chart, highlight it, import. Again, repeat the process of shrinking this down and then creating two more charts.
And that's it. You have all of your charts right here. Perfect. I hope this helped you guys. Bye, geography students.